Hi guys, my name is JC and welcome back to my channel JC JC Reads. I can't believe January 2016 is finally over. It's finally the second month of the year. So anyway guys, for this video I'll be doing my January wrap up which if you guys don't already know, at the end of every month I'll be doing a wrap up video which will be sort of telling you guys what books I've read and what's been going on in that whole entire month. So since January is over, I'll be doing my January wrap up of course and I'll also be doing my BBM TBR jar challenge so so for the month of January I only read four and a half books. Two out of the four books that I completed this month were sent to me by publishers through netgalley.com in exchange for a review. Let's just get on with the video and I'll show you guys the books that I read this month and how I feel about them. The first book that I read in the month of January is Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Ellier Saints. I think that's how you pronounce his name. So anyway, this book is about Aristotle who's a lonely, angry teenage boy and he just doesn't have many friends or any friends at all basically. One day, Aristotle meets Dante who's basically a boy who seems too perfect for Aristotle. Aristotle doesn't think that he can form any sort of relationship with Dante but soon enough, these boys became really good friends and they realize that the friendship that they share is a really special one. I give this book a 5 out of 5 stars. The thing that I love most about this book is probably Benjamin's writing. His writing is beautiful. It was just so nice to read about Aristotle and Dante through the many happy things and the sad things that just happened in their life and all the complications. And I love how family plays a really important role in this book. Aristotle and Dante's parents were such amazing parents. I love them as characters and I really love these two boys as well. I adore them so and another thing I love about this book is that it wasn't a completely serious read. It was a really entertaining one as well. If you guys really want an emotional contemporary read, I suggest you go pick this one up. The next book that I read was one of the books that was sent to me by the publisher. And the book that I'm talking about is... Scarred by Erica Hayes. This is actually book 2 in a series called Sapphire City. And that's the funny thing guys, I actually did not know that this book was a sequel. So I jumped into this book thinking it was the first book. So I got kind of confused at the beginning because there were like a lot of things that they mentioned that happened before this story takes place. And then I went on to Goodreads and then I found out it was the second book in the series. But anyway, as I was reading this book, the writer did a really good job of recapping everything that happened in the first book. I was able to read this book without feeling left out of any details. So that's a really good thing. I give this book 3 stars out of 5. I actually enjoyed it more than I thought I would have. Considering it's a sequel and I didn't read the first book. The one thing I really loved about Scar was how it brought back the classic crime fighting superheroes and the super villains. I haven't read something like that in a while. I also love reading from our main character's point of view. She's a really sarcastic sense of humor. This book was really action packed. I might have actually enjoyed this book better if I actually read the first book. But as a book on its own, I did enjoy it more than I thought I would have so that's really good. The next book that I read in the month is probably my favorite of January and that is Illumine by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This book is actually my January reading challenge for the My BBM TBR Jar Challenge. Basically this book is set in the future in the year 2575. Our main character Katie and her boyfriend Ezra have just broken up and suddenly their planet is attacked by a mega corporation called Baytac. Soon they are forced to evacuate onto fleeting ships to escape the planet and as well as the ship that is chasing after them to get rid of them. During their journey on the spaceships and their escape from the planet, they face different problems and this whole story is told through a really unique format. If you don't already know how Illumine is told, I'm gonna show you guys. Illumine is told through this dossier of IMs and medical reports and emails and diagrams and whatnot guys. This was probably the coolest book I've ever read before in my life. I give it a 5 out of 5 stars obviously and if I could I'd probably give it a 10 out of 5 stars. This book was brilliant. I was so glad I got this for my January challenge which was read a book of 500 plus pages. So yes guys, I'm so happy. I filmed the book talk on Illumine so if you guys want to check it out, I'll leave the link to the video down in the description box below. If you're a lover of sci-fi or if you're a lover of any kind of book actually, you should go and pick up Illumine. Even if you're not a reader, pick up Illumine. It was a really cool book. I enjoyed every single bit of it. I bet you will enjoy it too. The next book that I read is another one sent to me by a publisher and that is The Year We Fell Apart by Emily Martin. 
The Year We Fell Apart is a realistic contemporary fiction. To be honest, this book kind of seemed cheesy and really cliche to me at first. But maybe it's because of my really low expectations, but I really did enjoy it more than I thought I would have. The characters in this book felt really real to me, so I think that was one of the reasons why I really love this book. I don't really know how to summarize this book up for you guys except that it's about Harper, who's our main character who's struggling with a lot of things because of her mistakes in the past especially her mistake of ruining her relationship with her best friend Declan so Declan has returned back into town for the summer holidays and Harper's just facing a lot of struggles she's trying to fix things with Declan and coping with her mom's cancer so that's just basically what the story is about and that's the only way I can summarize it for you I'm sorry I can't do better there were some parts in this book that really did annoy me because the main character, Harper, she repeats her mistakes sometimes and it just got on my nerves. But in a way, it made her character more real as well because, well, we're human and we tend to repeat our mistakes. But it just annoyed me! The Year We Fell Apart was published on the 26th of January. So it's already out and available in the bookstores near you. So if you guys want to go and read it, you can go and pick it up. So now the last book that I'm currently reading is... The Fiery Heart by Richelle Mead. This book is the fourth installment in the Bloodline series, which is a spin off series of the Vampire Academy series, which I loved and adored, and I love Bloodlines as well. This series is based on Sydney Sage, who was a really minor character in the Vampire Academy series. I'm looking forward to finish this series this year because it's been taking too long, guys. So that's it for my wrap up. Right now, I'm gonna go on to my BBM TBR Jar Challenge which I will pick up my February reading. I'm excited to see what this challenge is. I hope it's not a hard one. All the papers are in here and I'm just gonna pick up one at random and slash to see what my February challenge is. Okay guys? Alright, so here it is. I'm gonna pick one out. Ding, ding, ding! So what is my February challenge? Read a 2016 debut novel. I have a lot of books in my mind right now, but I don't know what to pick. For this challenge, I have decided to read Truth Witch by Susan Dennard, and I do not have the physical copy of it yet. So I'll be heading out to the stores this month, and hopefully I'll be able to pick up the book and read it this month, because obviously I have to complete this February challenge. So anyway guys, that's it for my January wrap-up and my February TBR challenge. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for my next videos. Bye! Bye guys!